The installation here is the result of the invitation uh, of the curator, Anthony uh, Huberman, and we discussed it with the curator and the other artists involved in the installation. So, um, there was the decisions which had to do with the space, the quality of the space, what we could do, and the works which were mm, on one hand, of course, available and also which made sense in the dialogue with Olivier Mosset's work. So it's basically um, engineered uh, from the initiative of the creator, the space and the different qualities of the works of both artists. Since we were working uh, uh, together with Olivier, and I know him since a long time, we decided to uh, put uh, the works in two folds, some more classical works, works that more be, maybe more people know of us, uh, and older works. In the case of Olivier, where well, he goes back to his seminal uh, circle paintings. In my case, you will see the dot paintings, uh, which are also fairly well known from the 80s. In his case, it goes back to the 60s. Uh, and, uh, and a new uh, setup with more recent works, uh, in my case, wall paintings, for instance, the more recent kind, which are more ornamental, or have different uh, uh, glossy surfaces, uh, which are used, uh, and uh, together with the idea that there is a wall activity, and in front of the wall activity, some kind of obstacle, some kind of uh, uh, sculptural object, which uh, you have to work with in order to see the walls. Well, I'm not sure if there is a fundamental difference. Of course, it's been a, a discussion since, uh, since ever, and very significantly at the turn of the century with arts and crafts, the Wiener Werkstätters and people like that who have discussed uh, ornamentation uh, in a modernist way. Uh, I have also used it uh, in, in the ready-made situation. Uh, as a matter of fact, just now I have a show opening at the same time as the show here in Paris at the Centre Culturel Suisse, where I invited an interior decorator as a signature ready-made. I just gave him a carte blanche and he's just turning the, 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 the gallery into an apartment and have strictly no control on what he's doing. So it's really the extreme uh, position of using the interior decoration and, uh, and decoration strategies to do an art piece uh, which is like a ready-made. I used uh, the quote, too much is not enough, which is a variation on Mick, Mick, uh, uh, Mick Jagger's uh, uh, too much is never enough, uh, in, in, in a very literal way, is that you can't consider really limits in understanding, even if you do uh, 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 a very minimal work, a very absent work, uh, there's never enough understanding and never enough uh, limits in the way you can uh, um, process the work. Uh, there is a very uh, Protestant way of trying to um, take things out of art. I would be more interested in overloading the works with information or whatever, uh, so people can sort out whatever they want, and there's still place for more. So collaborations in a very tight sense uh, on a project are often different than what we have done here. Uh, it, it, it would start with a script which would have to be written together and you would follow it uh, to the text. Uh, here it's much more uh, an exchange and a way of offsetting each other's work because we know it, uh, we know a lot about our works and putting them on the same platform it gives another understanding of the works and that's uh, the most interesting collaborations. The fact is when you know someone, and especially an artist, uh, every day there's something different which in interests you about him uh, or, or, or his work. So he's a friend and I see him in a, in a different way certainly because of that. But I met his work before I met him uh, and before he met me as a matter of fact. I saw him uh, working in the 60s, installing a show, and I remember I was ve I'm a bit younger than him, so then I was really young because he was young, and uh, uh, I made a little note on the catalog that was something which interested me. 
years later, uh, when I had a cooperative gallery in Geneva, the, uh, a car gallery, I invited him to do a show. And since then, we have been exchanging uh, thoughts uh, and have put our works together in, in, in uh, different situations. And what's interesting is that there's some, how would you say, some ways of, of uh, intervening with his art, which are which brings results which are comparable to mine, but the, the background's fundamentally different, and vice versa. Sometimes uh, we have maybe same starting points and went up with works which are extremely different. And I think the show here has a sort of a panorama of those different strategies and effects.